smiles, big smiles. Come on, all of big smiles. To the Chinese, this is the kingdom of wildlife close to the Burmese border. Prince William's here to learn how villagers are trying to coexist with the elephants in the nearby rainforests. Down the road, one of the fortunate ones is waiting for her royal visitor. Ran Ran is one of four Asian elephants rescued and cared for here at the Wild Elephant Valley. She'd been caught in an iron trap. A team of 80 was needed to set her free. There's an irony here which won't have been lost on Prince William. While Ran Ran and others are cared for in this tropical forest, in Africa, elephants are being slaughtered to feed the Chinese market for ivory. The work here is a success. The number of Asian elephants in the region has increased. But there's another side to this sanctuary. Your Royal Highness, have you been told about the performing elephants next door? The Chinese are using elephants to play football, Your Royal Highness. <laughs> Prince William wasn't shown this part of the Wild Elephant Valley a throwback to how circuses once were in the UK. These performing elephants are being laid on for Chinese tourists who are sometimes disappointed if they don't see them in the wild. Education, William told British reporters, was one of the keys to eradicating the illegal wildlife trade. Later in a speech, he appealed to those in China who buy ivory. If I may add one final heartfelt message, it is that ultimately ending demand for ivory is down to citizens across the world. No tradition or fashion is worth the extinction of an entire species. <laughs> Prince William's brief visit has been well-intentioned. It's for the Chinese authorities and people to decide whether it achieves its aim. Peter Hunt, BBC News, Xixuangbana.